sure I can't handle this for you. I'm sure. At least it's a problem I can work on a little while. What do you mean? Dennis refuses to allow me to help him in any way. You never told me that. You know how I would see him or myself. I think you may be making a big mistake refusing me to help him. First degree murder, that's a serious charge. Stryker is handling his defense. Yeah, that's all well and good, but if I know you, you know you're just going to sit back and do nothing, right? You're right. I'm not. What are you going to do? The first thing I'm going to do is call Stryker Range to see Dennis as soon as possible. And then? And then. I'm going to tell Dennis the truth. That I'm his real father. What do you have, Pete? No special more, I'll be fine. I want to thank you for coming to our Well, I'm glad you asked me, Alex. As a matter of fact, I didn't need the stuff I said. It's a beautiful office. Oh, thank you. I'm very comfortable. I was uh, starting to read in the papers this morning about your wife's son being released. Well, yes, yeah, it has been one of the best times. Stryker Bellman has an excellent reputation for serving the board, huh? I hope so. Now, Dennis is who I've sung by a previous marriage, isn't he? That's right. Uh, cheers. How's that problem going that you mentioned last time in the um, World Oil Accounting Department, I think you said? As a matter of fact, that's one of the reasons I'm busy here today. Oh, yes. Yes, somebody has been tampering with our books in order to cover up the political movement for the large sum of money. According to my sources in accounting, your company is involved. You're saying that Lawrence Petroleum has an accounting problem with World Oil? I know exactly what I'm saying. I almost think you're making an accusation of some kind. It's no accusation. Yeah. You know that you and I have been friends for some time now. I wouldn't be asking you questions lightly. But I remembered when Jim got in some trouble in Galveston several years ago. It was a similar situation. The papers intimated that he was involved in drug traffic. Well, that's right. I told you before, that was before Jim and I were partners. Now I'm beginning to wonder if those charges weren't correct. That you and Jim are trying to pull the same sort of stunt with world oil. These are rather serious charges you're making. I know exactly how serious the charges are. Look, Alex, let's save everybody a lot of trouble. Now you think you know some of this. But let me tell you for a fact that the kind of charges you're making are going to be very difficult to prove. I know that. You know, there is an easier way. Yes. Well, Jim and I have built up a very lucrative business. Yes, we use the world oil tankers, and yes, we transport drugs. Now, you see, everything's out in the open. What they've got an offer to make. What are you trying to say? I'm saying I'm thinking of cutting you in. Good evening, sir. Cutting me in? Well, you must be out of your mind. <laughs> no, I assure you I'm not. I know exactly what you're talking about. I don't want any part of it. Why don't you take it over? I've got it over. And I want you out before I turn you in and call the police. Right now! Alex, you're a good businessman, and I think you'll see that I'm making you a very good officer. Get out! Get out! Don't you hear me? Get out! Get out!
expected me? No, Mrs. Carrington, I'm sorry. I think he's still in his office. Can I give him a message for when he comes home? No, that's not necessary. Thank you, Vivian. I'm here in the World Oil Building. I'll just stop down and see him in his office. Thank you. Bye-bye. I'm also glad you're alone. There's something I gotta talk to you about. Hi. What is it, Danny? I can't seem to get a straight answer from anyone about the Dennis Carrington case. Rena, I want you to tell me everything you know about Dennis, Iris, and Chris Schultz. 